Hello, friends. All right. Right there. Okay, you guys. Get this recording. All right. That's going there. We're good there. Okay. All right, everybody. So let me grab my phone. Okay. Woo! All right. Happy Thursday, everybody. It is like my word today. Um, this is a little gratitude because of everything. And this week, it is gratitude for our nice audience. All right. Anytime. So, I'm going to show you the first thing that we're going to start with for our first circuit for quad rockers. So, we're going to put our elbows on our knees and we're going to just position and then all we're going to do is push our knees back and then back down. So this is going to be kind of like a warm up. Get your legs warmed up and then we're going to rock and to grab our dumbbells. We're going to go to the left first. We're going to go to a lateral lunge and row. So we are curling in a little bit of arms because why the heck not? Lateral lunge row and then we're going to do a high pulls. So we're wiping our feet. Basically, the sumo wrestling because we have a really wide base. Our knees check in line with our toes. We send our hips back and drop back into that squat. And then thrust our hips forward and pull the dumbbells to our chin. Back down, my chest stays proud through the whole movement. Notice I'm not like really rounding my back, shoulder blades back. I'm in my legs, extending my legs forward to so my then move as we come back. And then we'll do. The lateral lunge row on the other side. That is circuit one. You do every movement for 30 seconds each, four times back to back to back, press for 30 seconds, and then we repeat for three rounds. Okay, going into circuit number two. You have an option here of doing a weighted step up, so that's stepping up on the box, stepping down, and switching your feet. Whenever I step up, I'm getting my whole foot on the box and I'm pushing through my heel. Because whenever I push through my heel, I'm turning on my money makers, my glutes, and my deep streets. So push up, do a little standing position, step down, and switch your feet. And then this is where our mats come in. We're going to be doing some hip thrusts here. So you can double layer your mat up just on your back. So I think that this box will be right underneath our shoulder. Okay. And then we tuck our chin down because we're keeping our spine on the next straight line. You have the option of adding your weight. But what we're doing is just dropping our butt around my chin. And then I'm squeezing my butt to lift my head. So I really want you to think my good muscles are long and and then I'm squeezing it on the top. Okay. Then so, getting in and out is what I'm doing. Hello, are you guys now? So, we have some more time. Okay, and then for our last two movements, we're going to do a rear foot elevated foot squat. So, that just means my back foot is going to be up on the squats, and then I'm just going to drop that back knee to the ground. I don't want you to keep on going forward. I want you to think about dropping your hip like an elevator straight down. And the other foot elevated because that was big. I would shed your weight. It does go with your absolutely face the line straight down. Okay. Then we'll do that with both legs. And then that is circuit two. Circuit three is going to be a kneel. To a standing squat. So we're not going to stand all the way up in our squat. We're going to stay low in this position and switch which leg that you start with every time. Also, an option here, if you're feeling froggy, is to incorporate a box jump. Okay, option. Woo! Still start with the opposite leg each time, okay? I just put the cross of the belt, modern weight, get eyes, tens over there, and then we can always switch them out. Okay. All right, then for our next one, we're going to do single leg step down. So we're going to get one. 
to put it on the edge of the box. You can optional, use your weights or not. We're going to lower ourselves down, tap, and come back up. Tap, come back up. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to finish with a decline knee tap. So we're going to get on our box in this decline position. Now we're going to use the bend your knee, take it towards the ground. Okay? If this is too difficult, you can always get this on the floor. Tap that. Or you can just hold a plank from the bend knee for a moment. Okay? For any of these movements, meet yourself where you're at. If you need to less of your depth, totally fine. If you need to once again draw a place, totally fine. Okay? Four number everything is quality of your box. Okay? Okay. That's the first circuit though. I'll put you through. Yeah, exactly. I'll put you through. You got it. Okay, sweet. Okay. Beautiful. Well done, turn. Use it. Turn around and come on over. Right. 
Drawing that cell down. I swear. Um, and push yourself back to center. Less than 10. We're going to do single high point. Three, two, one. All right. Wide your feet. Toes out. Feet out. Dead out the side in front of you. Five. Up front go. Woo! Put that knee as long as the bottom, and then squeeze it up. Push through the floor with your feet. Get your dumbbells light up to your chin. Six seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Lateral legs to the right. Dumbbells squeeze the floor with your back. Step. Round your back. Push up. Yep. Nice job. Keep the nose. Start your foot out. Keep staying. Tell it back. Stay in the middle of the run. Step it back. Stay in the middle of the run. Step it back. Step it back. Right, 
Thank you. 
I'll see you next time. All right. Foam roll, stretch it out. See you later.